Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 10th of June. I'm James Spann. Drier air blowing into Alabama as we speak. It looks like many places around here could be shower-free for the next five to seven days. How about that for June? Let's take a look at things. There's the upper air look this afternoon. Troughing rotating through the eastern part of the country, dragging a cold front through here. There's the visible satellite view. Showers and thunderstorms are uh, out in advance of the front over parts of east and south Alabama. But notice that slot of drier air working into the northern counties of the state. That was the radar at 228. Showers and thunderstorms mainly south of a line from Anniston to Montgomery to Mobile. And north and west of that line is going to be dry for a while. Pretty warm, most spots in the upper 80s, Tuscaloosa and Demopolis at 90, but look at the dew points dropping in Haleyville. The dew points down to 62, and instead of dew points in the 70s, we'll see dew points in the 50s tomorrow. It's going to be a big air mass change. Up north, we have a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan, and that's where the core chance of severe storms will be through tonight. In fact, there's a moderate risk. That's level four out of five for places like Toledo and Detroit. The main issue will be damaging straight line winds. Still a marginal risk over parts of Alabama. But again, that's going to be trimmed way down by the time you watch this, mainly for areas south and east of Montgomery. Tomorrow, risk of severe storms, a marginal risk for the eastern states. And on day three, which is Friday, no severe storms expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Getting pretty dry down here. Now, what you see was uh, basically what happened this morning. We had a few showers this morning, but now that those are over with, uh, most locations across Alabama rain-free for a while. Tropical weather, that little swirl in the middle of the Atlantic is dissipating. No chance of development, no chance of tropical storm formation for the rest of this week. Nice and quiet. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, ballot tomorrow at 4. You can see troughing to the north and a very dry air mass. A beautiful day. We start the day in the low 60s, the high in the low to mid 80s. Precipitable water, shades of brown and blue. That is very dry air for this time of the year. This is Friday. We're dry, sunny. Many spots could be in the 50s to start the day, the high mid 80s. Saturday will be dry. Now, if you're in Dothan, there might be a little isolated shower down in the southeastern corner of the state, but... North central Alabama, dry, warm, highs in the 80s, and the same thing on Sunday. Now, you see green creeping in here. Uh, that's the old GFS, but let's look at the European. It's bone dry, and we think that's the right solution. There will be an upper low east of the state, but we think the uh, air across our state will be dry. Uh, Sunday should be a partly to mostly sunny day with 80s. Next week, it's the same idea. This is Monday. We might be flirting with 90, and again, any showers mainly confined to the southeastern tip of the state. Tuesday, partly sunny, highs close to 90. And a week from today, Wednesday the 17th, troughing back in the northwest, ridging building here. And uh, there might be an isolated shower, but that's certainly not a wet look. Let's go out 10 days, Saturday, June 20th. Again, troughing in the northwest, ridging here. And again, that looks awfully quiet. This is the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean is under one inch for the next 15 days. It's a pretty dry pattern setting up for the rest of June. Temperatures creeping up to about 90 for much of next week, but very comfortable mornings. Lows well down in the 60s, and again, the cooler pockets will see multiple mornings with lows in the 50s between now and the weekend. And the new CPC outlook, this is for June 18th through June 24th. Temperatures could be a little above average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.